clean my Kimber Ultra Carry 2 today. After a range trip, it's really dirty, needs to be cleaned out, and I decided to make a disassembly reassembly video showing you how to do it without using this little tool that Kimber pr provides you. I found it's harder, in my opinion, to do it using that little tool, which just goes into that little hole there and basically holds the spring's tension. But before I owned this Kimber, I had a full-size 1911 and it didn't require this to disassemble it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it without the tool, which in my opinion is easier. So first thing you wanna do is obviously safety check. Make sure there's nothing in there and you are safe. And then you're gonna wanna Pull the slide back and line this section up with that little half circle on the slide and that will allow you to pull this out now we're gonna release the tension on the spring and pull the slide off so now we just got the slide and the barrel and the spring so now you just gotta pull the spring. So you're gonna wanna make it go forward and then you're gonna lift up and then out. So after you got the spring out of there, you're gonna wanna remove the barrel washer and then drop that down and the barrel will slide right out. And then after I get this all cleaned up and ready to go, I'll show you how to put it back together. Okay, so I got everything cleaned up. Now I'm gonna put it back together. So I'm gonna start with the frame. Put the barrel in, dropping that down. Got the barrel in. Now, put that washer on at the end. That goes in like that, obviously. One thing that's really important, when you put this back in place, you wanna make sure that that last thread is facing down. See how the thread's facing down like that? That's how we're gonna want it down, just like that. There, now we got it back in. Now we just gotta attach the slide back onto the frame and then we are good to go. So let's get that back on the frame. You're gonna wanna line that hole up, a little small half circle hole right up with there. And one thing that's really important is you don't want to try to slide it up and in because then you're going to get a scratch mark right there on the frame. You get that lined up just right, you should be able to just push it right into place. See, that was a little bit off. Just like that. And there you go. It is disassembled and reassembled without using this little Allen wrench thingy.